Alright guys, day 2 of Eretomas, hope y'all doing well anyway, so I got a new tutorial for you guys, uh, this one's kinda good, I don't know what you think about it, but this is how you make the edge glow effect that you're seeing on screen. So all the presets that I'm gonna be used will be in my Discord server in the video presets channel. So make sure to check it out as always discord.gg slash or link in the description. And yeah, let's begin with the tutorial. Right, so quickly make sure to download the preset file and to open it you need preset manager so open it you need to click on fx chains highlight everything and click on copy to system and that's how you install these presets now moving on to vegas pro we're going to be doing this in 60 fps but if you're doing it in any other fps than that then you're gonna have to tweak some stuff like velocity and use your own presets but yeah what we're gonna do is drag in our clip and our song so i'm gonna start with the song and find beats Right, so for me, this is where the kill is. Now, when you're searching for beats, make sure you have at least two beats or one beat before the kill beat. So something like this. As you can see, that's two beats. Uh, you don't need to have the beats in, but you know, the effect will look better if the song has beats like that before the kill. So here I have marked all the three beats. We're gonna, you know, add two edge effects on here. But now I'm gonna sync the clip to our kill beat. Alright, so here is our clip synced. Now we're gonna add some velocity. So I'm gonna go ahead and add velocity and I'm gonna show you, I guess, the best way to make a velocity for this type of effect. So you wanna go on your, you know, beat before the kill. You wanna add a point. You want to go two frames forward, one, two, add a point. Then you wanna go seven frames forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, add a point, and then go two frames forward, one, two, add a point. So something like this. Now make both of these two points in the middle to 50. So this one's 50. This one's 50. Now going over to this beat, let's do the same thing. Add a point, two frames forward, add a point, seven frames forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Add a point, one, two frames forward, add a point. Both of these make it 50. Now as you can see after you have done this, your kill, like your clip won't be synced anymore. So to fix this, uh, what you wanna go ahead and do is make sure you're clicked on your kill beat. You wanna drag back your clip like that and drag it back into place and as you can see what it's doing is sort of syncing it so once you reach your point here i've reached the point here's the blue tick i'm gonna drag this back like that and boom i'm on the kill so as you can see we have the slow-mo and we also have the kill so let me just quickly make the kill velocity all right so we're good like that so now I'm gonna make a few video tracks, because why not? And then I'm gonna cut on the markers that I've made. So this is the first beat, and then this is the second one. If you have one, then just cut on one, but I have two, so I made two cuts. Now of course, if you have an impact here, make sure you, you know, split or whatever. But here we have two parts. What I'm gonna now do is I'm gonna click U on both of them. This will ungroup them. Then I'm gonna copy paste them up. So control up. Hold control, drag up, as you can see we pasted them. Now you want to make sure that these two parts are not too long, so we, we, we don't want to mask for too long, so I'm going to decrease them a little bit like that, and then what you want to do is go on this one, so go into pen and crop, and now we're going to start the masking. So enable your masking, go to the first keyframe, and make sure sync cursor is enabled. Once you have that enabled, you can basically start masking. So the way we're going to mask this is we're not going to make a perfect mask, we're going to make a rough mask on purpose so what i mean is this as you can see leave some space on the outside and once you have made a rough mask like this go to feather type click on it click on both and make the feather percentage to 10. as you can see this covers the skin but also feathers out the background which is nice so yeah, once you've made these points you want to go with your keyboard a few frames forward and instead of just you know resetting the mask masking it again uh, the best way to do it is by clicking on this you know edit tool again and clicking off Clicking on back again and then just moving the points every few keyframes. So here I've moved like, I don't know, five keyframes forward. And I'm just moving these keyframes so that, you know, they sort of align with the character. So let me go a few frames forward again. As you can see, it's not in frame anymore. Let me just readjust it. And why we're doing this is because if you was to remask this, then, you know, your, your mask wouldn't be tracked. Because as you can see now, the mask moves, makes everything easier, basically. But anyways, let's finish off this mask. So let me just bring all this, you know, stuff to where it's supposed to be. 
and boom here we have done the mask as you can see only took a few keyframes and it's done now what i want to do is basically do the same thing for the next one so i'll see you when that is finished Okay, so once you have finished the mask, you want to duplicate both of these ones up this one, duplicate up by holding control. Now on the bottom ones, you want to go to the mask and you want to disable masking by clicking this button. And then same with this one, you just disable masking like that. All right, so now we're going to be applying the presets. So make sure you got the edge glow presets installed. Now for the top one, apply a mask glow. Boom, just like this. Now to customize mask glow, you can drag these buttons over here. As you can see, if you drag blue all the way to the top, it's going to be blue. You can add some green to make it a lighter blue. And yeah, that's how you customize colors. So I'm going to put this to something like that. And then make sure to go into glow and then change the color, you know, whatever you have. So I have red and my character is orange. So that's fine. Then do this for the next one. So apply the preset onto this one. And for this one, we're going to have blue. So let's put this to blue. Drag this this down if you customize this and as you can see we have a blue over here now glow as well all the way up to blue and just like that we have our mask glows now on this one the middle one uh, we're gonna be applying saturation background so apply it onto here you should turn desaturated like that and do it for this one as well apply it onto here now we're gonna fade them out so fade this one out like that you wanna right click on the wave start to the third one so that's like a fast wave. Now you can fade it out at any amount, but the amount I recommend is eight. So go from the beginning and go eight frames forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drag it until here so this is when it will start fading out and do it for the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drag it until here. Right click on this, put it onto the third one, just like that. Now for the background, you can fade it out like this, simple as that because you kind of want the background to stay for a little longer. So something like this is fine. And yeah, once you have this effect and you're happy with it, what you want to then do is render this part out. So make a new video track and then highlight from here all the way till your impact. So my impact is over here. I'm going to highlight it from the start all the way to the impact start like that. Then I'll go to file, render as, Always make sure render in 60 FPS, name it whatever you want, click render. So once it's rendered, drag it in, I'm gonna remove my audio and put it on top. So here it is. Now we're gonna be applying the Glow Beachic preset. So make sure you have this installed. You can use this Beachic or your own Beachic. It doesn't matter, just use, you know, any Beachic. So here's the Beachic. As you can see, it has some red in it. So if you want to customize it, you go into, you know, effects. You go to Glow and over here, you're gonna have the color so i put it to red you can put it to whatever you want this looks fine so now for this one you want to cut it when you know the blue happens i'm gonna be applying another beach shake over here now this time i'm gonna go to glow and set the color to blue because you know the skin is blue and that's gonna match it nicely so yeah that's basically it uh we got a few touches though so make a new video check go to media generator and go to solid color cop the black one like that now we're gonna make the sort of fade in, fade out effect. So have your solid curl like this, and you want to fade it in and fade it out. Make sure it's not like a crazy amount. The amount is like something like me is fine. So as you can see, this will fade in a sort of beach shake, but you don't want it to be that dark. So decrease the opacity, make it like 50 probably, or even more. So 60 works. And if you think this looks nice, you can go ahead and copy it to the next one. So boom, we have copied it. Two fade in, fade outs, and it looks nice like that. But that's how you do it. Of course, don't forget about the impact and the buildup, but you can do this on your own time. So yeah, that was the edge glow effect. Hope you liked it. Hope you can think of new ideas with this effect. And yeah, you know, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.